Once you've completed your transformation from your source data into the destination CDIS data, there are several different validation and verification reports. In this case, we have the data model for medical history, which reads in um, the source data set here and generates the MH data set, um, which is CDIS compliant. So in order to generate these reports, you go ahead and click on the Reports button. And there's several different kinds of reports. For example, there's the uh, verification report. So let me just perform one for the MH data set here. What it will do is it performs a series of PROC freaks and PROC means and also PROC print to verify the source data. Um, so you can look at it and compare it with the destination uh, data set here, MH, to see how the transformation went. So in this case, the PROC print will just show you a sampling of three different subject IDs uh, of a data dump. So you can actually review the output to see if anything um, looks incorrect from the transformation. The PROC freak might be a little bit more um, meaningful in that, for example, if there's a, a categorical variable, um, let me see if I can find one that's of interest. How about the verbatim term of um, the actual, um, you know, drug in this case, or medical history, I guess, and then I would compare it with the destination here. Now, in this case, it shows me that for this particular uh, medical history term, there was once one occurrence, and the same is true. So if I look closer, I can see that for that medical term, there was one occurrence, and there's also one occurrence in the destination diction, uh, data. So you can verify for any particular source data, once transformed, does it look the same for uh, the, the, s the resulting transform data. Now, in a similar manner, you can actually do the same thing for or continuous variables. Now, I guess in this case, there are, are none, but if there are numeric variables, then it would actually do a proc means to see if the aggregate summary are the same. So that might be useful as a report. You can also run other reports, such as the traceability report, this will trace back to see um, what are the steps taken to produce the, the final data set here. So let me wait until the report gets finished. Okay, so in this case, you can see that the source um, data was originally uh, placed as input, and then it gets transformed by using this program into the final um, data set. So I can click on any of these and view them. For example, if I click on the source, I can then do a quick preview of the source data. And I can also click on the program. And it will actually open up the actual SAS program that was generated by um, the TransData tool. So this is the code that was generated performing the transformation. And then also you can then click on the um, the model. This is actually the data model used where it specifies the name of the model, the model location, the source data, the output data, and related metadata. So these are the types of traceability, depending on what types of transformation you do, would be helpful to trace back where each variable get, uh, is derived from and how it got transformed. Now, and the last report I wanted to show you is just mainly the, uh, the audit trail of all the actions that are taken. And in that case, it will just generate a list of all the things that you do within the system pertaining to your um, transformation here. So in this case, if I scroll down, I can see that the, um, for this particular sample study, for this data set, I've been doing a lot of work recently by generating reports, but at one point I also edited the program, you know, at a particular date and time. So this is a good 
useful tool as a trace or an audit trail as to all the things that I've done for this particular uh, data model here. So these are the types of reports that you would run in order to um, perform validation and also keep a complete audit trail for compliance for your uh, data transformation to CEDA standards.